The Mexican resort of Cancun hosted this year's LATAM ICT Congress 2022. The event was organized by Huawei, bringing together information and communication technology leaders from across Latin America. Top of the agenda, universal digital access. Infrastructure in Latin America provides a broadband signal to 97% of the population, but fewer than half actually use it. It's a key area for development, according to keynote speaker Lucas Galito. When you increase 10% of the penetration in the usage of mobile broadband, uh, the GDP is expected to grow up to 1.5% in low-income economies. So uh, there is a huge impact. Another topic, renewable energy. We believe that. That's the sunshine in the Latin American and the Caribbean is the most valuable energy for the greener development. Back in 2019, eight countries in the region pledged that 70% of its energy would be renewable by 2030. There is now a focus on more energy efficient products. We bring efficiency and intelligence to the capture of solar energy but have also put a lot of emphasis on the development of new generation technology, which are products which use less energy, to follow the most developed countries in lower carbon footprint commitments. Technology and conservation was also discussed, in particular the work of Chrissy Durkin's Rainforest Connection. They use a piece of equipment named the Guardian, which uploads audio recordings to track both endemic species and alert authorities to illegal activity in protected areas. The conservation space is really behind everyone else in terms of technology development because it's not profitable, right? So um, I think bringing all of the tech innovation that's happening in all the other sectors into nature protection and into conservation is so critically important because we can just expedite everything that we're doing. A smarter future predicted in an underdeveloped region. As Latin America and the Caribbean prepare to emerge from these pandemic times, the consensus here is that connectivity and green energy, both sectors with ample business opportunities, will be key areas for development and essential if the region is to keep pace with the world's most developed countries. Alastair Bavistock, CGTN, Cancun.